Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2021 PC Build Ultimate Guide for Failure. <laughs> no, guys, but uh, this PC Build it was it was it was a journey. It was a journey. Um, a lot of stuff happened. Um, a lot of bad things happened. Not good things. Uh, since this is my first PC build, it did take about a week to complete, and that was only because. Um, I didn't want to finish or actually like seal everything up until I had all the parts in there. So I kind of just like started it one day and then I finished it off another. So I guess you could say it took a week. It took less. I don't know. But yeah, I started this PC build uh, on a Saturday or Sunday. I'm not too sure. I started around like 9 a.m. And by 11 p.m. I wasn't even done. It was horrible. It was absolutely horrible. It was obnoxious. It was frustrating. It was, it was a lot of BS, you know, the cool case say nowadays. Um, but yeah, I mean, everything's working fine. You know, I'm glad that everything at the end of the day did work out fine. Um, it's still running. It's going good. I mean, I'm editing this video, all right? This is, I'm using the PC to edit this video, so you know something, man, right? <laughs> Uh, but yeah, anyways, guys, uh, I just want to say that most of the video is going to be voiceovered just because I did have a lot of content, a lot, a lot from a lot of different angles. And I just could not, could not edit 10 hours. It wasn't even 10 hours, 10 hours, just the freaking camera that I had recording my POV. I think total it was like, I want to say 18 hours, 18 hours. <laughs> I, it's because I literally I didn't stop recording I I did stop recording at a certain point because I was like nah this is going to take forever but you know I was recording most of it uh, and I mean a lot of time I was just kind of just talking to myself so you guys aren't really missing much but uh, yeah I hope you guys enjoy like this video if you guys enjoyed watching me fail I mean I didn't really fail I took all the fail parts out when I really fail this is I mean, if you consider me taking a long time to build something and if that's a fail, then I guess I did take out all the fail parts. But, uh, yeah, if you guys want to roast me, uh, you'll get a toast in my next video. Toast, I mean, like a, a cheer, like a little celebration, you know, when they lift up the wine bottles and, yeah, I don't know. Well, guys, I hope I see you by the end of the video. Um Remember, I do stream every day on Twitch, almost every day, from 5.30 to 8.30 p.m. PST. Uh, and, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Make sure to go follow me on my Twitch. Follow the Aqua Boys, like always. They will be in my Twitch about page, so you guys can find them there. Uh, but, yeah, hope you guys hope to see you at the end of this. See you guys. Make sure to like or comment. Either or is fine. Please, or for uh -huh. Are you I did start with my raw crosshair eight hero. This is the first thing I unboxed because I knew a bunch of stuff how to be connected to the motherboard. So yeah. Next I moved on to my Ryzen 9 5900X, 5000 series, brand new, you know what I'm saying? Uh just laid this guy on the socket there. I didn't really push him in yet because I knew you have to align the pins to the socket holes. You can see me doing that here. Perfect. Absolutely magnificent, unique. Oh my god, you're a beauty. Next I did move <laughs> I did move on to my Internal storage, I got two, not one, but two Samsung 980 Pro. 980 Pro, yes. I got two M.2s, got obviously, because this, what the system fits. And the reason being was because I wanted to have that extra storage just to, uh, you know, not worry about it being filled within the first week of me using the PC. Um, so far, it's working great. I mean, I got two terabytes of storage and... Yeah, I might go out for a hard drive later. I'm not too sure, but so far, I think two store two terabytes is going to be more than enough for what I need right now. So, yeah. I mean, if any if any of you guys want to comment down below, if, like me doing anything wrong within this build or I misplaced something, uh, go ahead in the comments. Go ahead and roast me. Best roast will get a feature uh, featured in the video. I don't know what you guys want to do. <laughs> this is my first build, by the way, so go easy on me you know anything that i did bad i already took it out of the video so heh but if you guys did see something else that i did wrong go ahead and comment down below 
best roast gets a toast within one of my videos. I don't know. <laughs> but as you can see here, uh, I did move on to my RAM. This was actually the hardest thing that was, well, for me at least, to put in. Because I, I was so scared of like how fragile these things are that I didn't want to damage anything. So I put like the smallest amount of pressure to push these in. But then I manned up and I just pushed them all in there. And it all worked out fine in the end, you know. I mean, the system's working fine. I'm actually editing this video with the PC. <laughs> so this skeleton right here you're looking at right now, that bad boy is editing this video right now. Yeah, it's amazing. It's actually pretty crazy. Not really. But so after of that, I did move on to my case, of course, unboxing my case. Uh, funny story about this. Uh, I got this around the end of December or beginning of this year. Somewhere on there. But long story short, I bought some products at Best Buy, got a lot of certificates, and this case ended up costing about 30 bucks. <laughs> yes, pretty cheap. Uh, usually it costs, I think, around like 150 or 100 I think like 100 bucks. Probably got it for like 30 bucks. Uh, I'm actually pretty happy with that because this case is amazing. It has temper class, it has RGB, and it's me. It's all for me. If it's RGB, it's for me. If it's for free, it's for me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but yes, I did unbox this bad boy. Took out the styrofoam, took out the plastic, all that jazz. I ended up actually flipping it on its side because that's the only way you can actually... Well, I guess you can put it right side up. I think you can put it right side up. Yeah, you can put you can put the motherboard in right side up, but I think it's a lot safer um, when you actually lay down your case, and then you actually put in the motherboard that way, because you know you don't you can just lay it down. You know you don't have to worry about it falling. So yeah. So after that, I did uh, get my motherboard ready to uh, actually insert it into the case. Uh, if anyone wants to roast me down in the comments for me holding my motherboard like this, go ahead. Um, I was super scared. I, I think I was holding it absolutely wrong. Um, but <laughs> I was, I was scared of just like touching the back of all the soldering and whatnot. So I held it with all like, the, on the front side, I held the plastic side, the plastic, anything plastic. I just held onto it and I just kind of carefully placed it in there. And of course, I did move on to uh, putting all the screws in there just to make sure it's uh, nice and holstered up there. Uh, but yeah, at this point, I think I was, I want to say like 2% done if you're considering how long it took me to build this. <laughs> I mean, for a PC Pro, PC Pro builder, this this is like they're almost done pretty much, you know. But after inserting the cooler, uh, it all just went downhill after this. So, yeah, this is where everything went downhill. Um, just to give better context, my PCU, my power supply unit, was a modular one. So that means that I'm able to connect the cables that I actually need to power my PC. Um, I did not know that you didn't have to connect all of them in. But I, I, it was my first PC build, so I was like, oh, all of them have to go in, you know? Like, all, like how can, like, one just stay out? Like, they all need to be in there. Um, and that sent me back a few hours because I was trying to look up a video on, like, how to connect all of them <laughs> when I didn't need all of them. Um, but, yeah, you can see in this little clip right here, I'm just shuffling around these uh, cables like there was no tomorrow. Like, I'm just shuffling cars. Look at all these Medusa looking at Oh, no, this is... This was literally the most horrendous part of the whole PC build. It was with the capital H. It's just horrible. It's disgusting. It's nasty. Absolutely horrible. I just, I just, it was, it was, it was really like a lot of time wasted was right here in the cabling. It was all just this. I had to call the boy uh, Earthquake. Sorry, so he could help us out, and thankfully he did. And that's how we got rid of this situation. This whole uh, Medusa uh, looking. AS cables. <laughs> yeah, but thanks to the boy Earthquake, we were able to put this PC in with the correct cabling and everything. So massive shout out to him. Massive, massive shout out to him. So yeah, I mean, after the cabling, 
was complete. Uh, another downhill happened. Um, <laughs> uh, as soon as I figured out how all the connections worked out, I realized that some of my RGB accessories wouldn't have weren't going to be able to be connected. So I told that to Girthquake, and he told me to get a splitter, so that way I can just connect this one to one end and connect two more RGB accessories. And when I say accessories, I mean like fans, LED strips, all that jazz. Um, and when this came in, uh, I found out that this was too thick for um, this module that NZXT has for its own accessories. Um, it was too thick to go in. So I this is where I cut myself really badly, actually. Uh, I decided to get my unbo unbox therapy knife and just shave it off. Yeah, shave it off so that I can actually fit in there. But at the end of the day, I still failed because the actual um, inserts in here are circular and the NZXT uh, pins were squared, so it was never gonna fit regardless. And I cut my, I mean, it's already healed, but I cut my thumb and it was painful. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that happened. And then these were also the cables that I was talking about that I was trying to forcefully connect on my PCU and then to my motherboard, but I didn't need them, you know? Um, I mean, Girthquake, when, when, when Girthquake told me to get this too, he told me to get these nice cables. Um, they were extension cables. They're basically like, this is the same thing. It's the same exact thing as this, but it just extends it so it can make it look nicer. You guys will see it later at the end of the video. You guys will see a whole 360 of my PC. Um, but yeah, uh, after that jazz, after like actually finding out that I'm not gonna be able to have all of my RGB accessories connected in one little module, um, I realized that my front two fans were running and the RGB was on and I only connected two. And that was kind of weird. I was like, how how are they working? You know, I mean, it's just one cable and, you know. And then that's when I decided to kind of take it apart. I kind of had a feeling, but I didn't want to say anything because I just felt like a noob, you know. This whole PC process, I felt I felt like a noob. Uh, sorry, kind of burping. Uh, but I took it apart, and it turns out that they're, they were daisy-linked or daisy-chained, however... Uh, people say it and that that's just I was just like epiphany just everywhere you know an epiphany happened it's like oh oh sh oh oh you're telling me I can connect do a little co a little Lego connection so I can get power through everyone like what so at the end of the day yeah I didn't need this at all so if anyone wants them Yes, you get if you need, need some RGB extenders, uh, splitters. I got you. But yeah, I mean, I um, I connected all my my RGB accessories, and the thing is, I did mess up the RGB um, a strip that it came with the case that came with the case. I messed it up, uh, so I bought two other ones that make the case look a lot nicer. So I pretty much just daisy linked all of that into one. And then just back to the module. But yeah, I mean it's 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 looking pretty good, pretty cool. And I'll just show you guys a little a quick uh, a quick little image of like how those cables look like right here, right now. As you can see it. Hopefully I'm showing it to you. Because I'm not thinking she's looking at my face right now, but so yeah guys, after that I pretty much just wrapped it all up. I zip tied all the cables up, make sure it was all nice and neat. Make sure all the cabling was correct and just sealed that bad boy up and started downloading the software. It was easy as that, but I did not know nothing. It was all thanks to the boy Girthquake. Uh, definitely massive th thanks to him. Uh, can't stress that enough. Really did help me a lot. He uh, was FaceTiming me. He was giving me pointers. He uh, helped me with all the software downloads. It was, he, was, uh, he was great throughout the whole process. Uh, without him, probably wouldn't be able to finish this PC but massive thanks to you mate appreciate you so yeah guys uh, before we end the video I'm gonna give you a quick montage of the PC and what it can do if you guys want to find out any of the um, components that I have inside the PC I'll link them down below we're not link them because you, you probably can't find them they're all stock or scalpers you know but you guys can see what's inside my PC uh, you can see that down below and make sure to follow my twitch channel remember 
the unicorn on Twitch, uh, the Aqua DC YouTube channel. We've got a bunch of new videos on there, so make sure you check them out. Uh, make sure to follow, follow the members on Twitch as well. You're going to find out on my about page or down below. Um, but yeah, if you can't find any of that, just make, always make sure to check down the description. It'll be there. Don't worry. All right, guys. Other than that, thank you guys for watching. Like the video, comment, share it, and let's roll the montage. One more thing, guys, before we leave, I do want to say I'm going to make a setup video that's going to go on the Aqua DTC YouTube channel. So make sure you go subscribe to that channel so you guys can see that. And hopefully that triggers an effect that makes the other Aqua DC members show off their setup as well. And you guys can go ahead and rate it at home and see which one you guys like the most. But yeah, that was it, guys. Now, cue the montage.